Hey, what's going on guys? It's Little Bigness here, and today I will be starting my brand new playthrough on a game that just came out, and here it is, Mario Kart 8. So uh, let me get this thing started. This is my first Wii U Let's Play, actually. And man, am I pumped to play this game. I played it at the uh, GameStop demos that were happening, and I really enjoyed it. And I want to see if this will rival Double Dash is my favorite Mario Kart game. I've been in excitement for this for a long time now. Just as excited for this as I was for Smash 4. And here we are. Look at that menu screen. Let's press A to start. Let's go to the single player mode. And this is the first time I've played it outside of that. Uh, GameStop demo. So we've got Grand Prix, Time Trials, Versus Race, Battle. I'll be playing through the 150cc Grand Prix in this game, and um, I decided for my first character to play as, I will play as Mario, because why not? And uh, I, I never thought about which cart I wanted to use. Uh, I'm going to want to use a cart for the first. Uh, let me look at the stats. Um... Let's use the Mach 8. With roller wheels. And the parafoil. <laughs> See, I, I didn't play Mario Kart 7, so I don't know much about combo. See, I haven't unlocked any courses or anything, but here we go. Mushroom Cup. Let's do this. Man, I'm so excited. Oh my god. I, I can't hold it in. This is a game that I've really wanted to play for a long time now. Ever since they started releasing a lot of trailers, I've been so hyped for this game. And there we are. Mario Kart Stadium. This game looks amazing. God, that 1080p. Oh my. It looks awesome. Let me. It's the best looking game on the Wii U. And uh, here we go. I already know about the Rocket Boost because I've seen some gameplay of this game. But, uh, I don't know much about the tracks. This is actually one of the tracks I played during the demo because, you know, first course. And, uh, let's do this. Let's lay that banana down. I don't really care about it right now. And here we are. This is a new mechanic to this game, Anti-Gravity, where you're going up slopes. And you can also do things like run into players and get a boost off of it, but you don't want to go too fast with your uh, slipstream. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's good. We're in first place. <laughs> Got a little bit of a trick off that. I wish I would have gotten a little bit more of a... A little bit more of an aerial jump, I guess. But, uh, we're playing pretty well. And, oh, no. He just shit on our screen. Okay. I'm going to keep this shell around. There we go. That's why. Oh, well. Jeez. I don't know what it is about the drifting on this card. It kind of feels a little iffy. But look at that. We're maxed out with our coins. Jeez. I don't like this. Oh, man. I almost hit him. It's okay, though. We're going to choose different cart combos and characters later on. Okay. Oh man, the drifting on this is terrible. I don't know if it's just me, but I guess I'm just not really doing that great with drift. Oh good, we got a mushroom. Oh crap. I know exactly where I'm using that thing, and you probably know exactly where I'm using it too. Right here. I forgot to do a trick because I was thinking Mario Kart Wii where you hit the D-pad. Good, that maxed me out on coins, so I'm not really too offended by getting the coin item there. Hopefully we'll get some of the new items as we go through this, but uh, it's not looking like it right now. And see, I didn't play 7, so I don't really know much about the gliding. I'm going to want to experiment with that. And there we go, first place. First race of this game, baby. Look at that, Mario's mustache is flapping. That's how detailed this game is. And it's looking like Bowser's our biggest rival, and why not? Because he actually is our biggest rival. Man, the hype is real. <laughs> What's the second course again? Oh yeah, it's Water Park. 
See, this wasn't a course that I played. I only played three of the courses in the demo because there were people behind me in line. I didn't really want to hog it up. <laughs> but uh, the, I, I'll come up to the course that I've already played. But after this, I actually will have played all of the courses because I'm going to unlock all the characters after my true blind gameplay. That's just how I want to do this. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's my way of doing it. Because I'm going to want to play with different characters, the new characters and stuff like that. I want to try and play with as many characters as I can. Because uh, I will actually do multiplayer with these uh, with these tracks. Uh, I'm going to do that with some people. And here's our new item, the Super Horn. I'm going to keep this one around. Because it's a defensive beast where... When you use it, it has this huge sound wave that goes off, and that sound wave will either hit everyone in your path, or it will block shells like... Oh, what? Okay, I got it. It can actually block blue shells, too, and here's our other new item! Wow, am I getting lucky? I'm gonna hold this one around so I can get some speed boosts off of it. And um, in anti-gravity, you can hit things. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hit items or anything like that. But they'll all give you speed boosts. And um, also another thing I wanted to touch on, in case anyone's wondering, I will be doing online races for this game. Probably won't stream it until my internet gets better. Oh my god. But uh, I will definitely be doing online races. Whether it's... Uh, just me recording them or not, I will be doing them. And I would like to do them with viewers, actually. Uh, my Wii U friends list is empty right now. And um, anyone who wants to get on my friends list, uh, just hit me up with a private message. And I will make sure to add you. Because I know how important it is to get out with fans. And we're not really doing good in this race, but there we go. Bomb. Oh, I didn't hit Peach. Damn it, I don't really want to hit Peach because, you know, she's my GF, but when it comes down to it, I have to. Aw, oh, man. I'll take it. I'll take third. This is my blind playthrough, <laughs> for the most part. Or at least, you know, the Mushroom Cup is. So, we've still got the... Well, we're still maintaining first place, so let's go to the next race. And it's, what is it, Sweet Canyon or something like that? Forget the name of it. Sweet, Sweet Canyon, yeah. And this course, I think, looks pretty fun. I, uh, I mean, it's just like Sweet Mountain from Sonic Colors. Uh, it, it, that's just what it really looks like. And um, I'm really excited to just play it, and I didn't really get that good of a boost there. So is that Larry Koopa that we're trying to pass up right here? I mean, I don't know the Koopa League's names too well except for Morton and Ludwig. And see again there, I forgot that uh, the drift button is the trick button in this game. Which I'm fine with. And there was the other new item that just passed us. It's the boomerang, which you can throw three times and it kind of homes in on the enemies. But not really. And here we go. Oh, dang it. Let's just get that stunt to get that little boost. Oh, man, I would have used that. I'm going to keep this around, though. So I can maybe dodge a blue shell or something. So you can dodge blue shells with uh, mushrooms, if I'm right. Not sure if you can in this game, but I know you just can. And I haven't even looked down at the gamepad yet. Let's change it to the map. Perfect time to do it there while you're going through that cannon. And I kind of bumped into the wall there. Still kind of getting used to the handling on this game, but... Uh, it's playing really well. I like these tracks, too. <laughs> these are actually really fun tracks. I, I mean, what's not to like about them? And that red shell literally just passed us. And here's the shortcut that I wanted to go on. Oh, and of course a blue shell would come right while I was about to do the shortcut. Or right after I did the shortcut. That's just my luck, everyone. But, uh, blue shells don't show up as much in this game, out of 
what I've heard and noticed, so I like that. Blue shells are more dodgeable, and that's what everyone bitches about. I'm just gonna throw that. That blooper, I don't really care, because it doesn't really affect me too much. Let's get back to that anti-gravity mode. Oh, Jesus. No. No, I didn't want that. That's another cool thing. Lockty brings you back faster. And I did not get the best of luck there. I didn't want that anti-gravity boost. That was a really good play on Bowser, if you look at that. Oh, see that computer used my shortcut. I'm going to get fifth, aren't I? Yup. You know, it's whatever, though. Again, I'm just going through this blind, so... I'm um, going to have to win this next race to be able to get first in the Grand Prix, so this is serious mode. Y'all ready? And um, for this, I'm testing out recording in 1080p. By the looks of it, I think I'm going to drop it to 720. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but most people are fine with 720, and here's Thwomp Ruins. This is a track I've really wanted to play. Because it looks like there's a lot of alternate routes out of what I've seen. And yeah, I'm, again, I'm sorry that I'm going to have to record in 1080p, but that's just how I'm going to be. Or, 720 now, but... How are they getting better boost than me while I'm hitting the gas button at the same time? I don't really know. There we go. And um, here's another thing you can do with anti-gravity. You can go up the walls. And you can kind of get a little better of a... You can dodge some obstacles. It's slower, sure, but... Or is it slower? I mean, it, it's just better, I think. Damn it. I swear they're just targeting me. You see that boomerang? Oh, nice. I didn't know it was anti-gravity here. See, that's why I want to watch the replays to see, like, what really is anti-gravity and all that. And I'm just going to go over here. I saw that because the computers. And let's keep on gliding. I'm not really used to the glider again, so it's going to be something cool to practice. Underwater shouldn't affect me too much, though. Nor should anti-gravity. I mean, it's just going to make me be more tactical, I think. I don't really want those bananas, because I think I can get a bear item. There we go, we got a bomb. I'm just going to glide through here. I'm just going to throw that back, too. Let's catch up to Bowser. We need to beat this guy. I got to play really well here. I don't like the Mach 8 with, wa with the roller wheels too much, though. I'm going to be trying out a lot of combos, though. A lot. I'm going to throw that. There we go. Lot three, here we come on. Can we keep the lead? I probably should have kept that banana now thinking about it, but let's go for the super horn, damn it. Okay. Oh come on, coins. I thought I tricked off that, but I guess not. I thought I tricked off that. The timing kinda seems weird on that. I'll get used to it though. This is really fun though, I like this. Come on, good item. Good item. Coins. Thank you, game. There we go. First place. But it looks like Bowser got second, so... Tie means win. There we go. We won our first Grand Prix, kind of, but it counts. It counts for me. I am happy about that. I'm real happy. I didn't play too bad. I got the controls down for the most part. And yeah, I'm wasting a lot of space by recording 1080p. Probably gonna, oh, I skipped the results. I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll keep it next time. Sorry about that, everyone. But unlock the flower cup and a new character. Um. No, I'm not online right now, so let's not post it to Meverse. But uh, that's it for the Mushroom Cup, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the Flower Cup.